Well, they have been adversaries for decades, the Central Park Five and Donald Trump. And now for the first time, we are hearing from the men who have filed a civil lawsuit against the president-elect. Yeah, why did it take the man 35 years to take legal action against a person who publicly called for their executions? Anthony DiLorenzo spoke to some of the men and has this exclusive interview from Harlem. The men known as the exonerated five have gone head to head with Donald Trump from their teenage to adult lives. And now they say they're prepared to take on the most powerful man in the country. The incendiary barbs and bad blood date back decades for Yusef Salam and Raymond Santana, two of the Central Park Five. And the results of the 2024 presidential election don't make it easier, they say. He really represents the thought process that is in America that has been riding under the surface. But now, after 35 years, they're fighting back. He has doubled and tripled and quadrupled down since. So this is just a history of how he keeps defaming us and he keeps using our names. Which is why the men served the president-elect with a defamation lawsuit at his Mar-a-Lago home last month. It's us being able to say, you know what, he lied about us. And so many people believe the lies. It all started back in 1989 when Donald Trump took out that full page newspaper ad calling for the executions of the man accused of raping a Manhattan jogger. It was a bounty placed on our heads. That fiery rhetoric emerging again during the presidential debate in Philadelphia in September. If they pled guilty, they'd badly hurt a person, killed a person ultimately. None of it true as the woman survived and they were exonerated. That's so for Salam. the first time, Salam was there to confront Mr. Trump backstage. I'm Yusef Salam, one of the exonerated five. You're on my side. No, 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 I'm not on your side. He still had the audacity to say, you're with me, right? I couldn't believe it. It's about clearing our names once again. It felt good to be able to stand up for myself. Salam now nearing a year as Harlem City Council member. He believes some of his own constituents aligned behind Mr. Trump Tuesday, due in part to what he calls politics at play. You have a master at play who's able to tell you nothing and get you to be on their side. But he's still optimistic about the future. Our unity is more powerful than hate. Hate is not the, the lifeblood of America. According to the court filing, the men are seeking damages in excess of $75,000. But tell me, it's not really about the money. It's solely about the principle. Reporting from Central Park in Harlem, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.